In the last video, we found that the house of Judah was taken captive into Babylon by King Nebuchadnezzar. We also discussed the major two reasons for the captivity. In this video, we will take a closer look at Daniel and his three friends and how they were distinct in Babylon and were overcomers. We have Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Note how their names end with either El or Ah. El is short for Elohim, which is the Hebrew word for God, and Ah is from Yah, which is short for Yahweh, the sacred name of God. Pay attention to the relationship of their names to the title or the name of the Lord our God. Their names and identity came from the Lord. However, we are told that the chief of the eunuch changed their names to Belteshazzar, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, respectively. These names all have to do with Babylonian gods. Names in the Bible have to do with the nature and character of the person. Babylon was trying to change their identity. But it was not so with Daniel and his three friends. They did not allow these Babylonian names to define who they were. On the contrary, they knew who they were in God. We live in times of identity confusion, whether it is about our origin, gender, marriage, and the list goes on. Like Daniel, we are to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might, for those who know their God shall do great exploits. King Nebuchadnezzar was in the business of recruiting the best of the best to serve in the king's palace. No matter how much the world tried to change and influence them, they did not compromise. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 says, Daniel purposed in his heart. He determined in his heart. He committed himself in his heart. It was not just merely a mental exercise. It involved his heart. The Greek word thelo, which means love, is translated as will 98 times in the New Testament. Therefore, love is also seen as a decision since it has to do with our will. It was therefore a deliberate decision of the heart, mind and will. In these last days, it is crucial that we commit, consecrate, dedicate and present ourselves unto God as living sacrifices. The resolve of their hearts, unseen to the human eyes, would become evident outwardly, physically and actually through their actions. Faith will always lead us to obedience to God. Obedience will require an action from us, yes, even in times of adversity, which will be the real test of our faith. Here Daniel and his friends are facing a royal command to eat of the king's delicacies, that is food offered to idols, and to drink wine. We are faced every day with the temptation of the enticing sinful pleasures of this world in every aspect of life, whether it is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, or the pride of life. But as for Daniel and his friends, they knew what God's Word said about eating food offered to idols and about drinking. At times, even things that may seem good may not necessarily be good, because we must discern the spirit behind. Good does not always mean it is of God. Eve saw that the tree of knowledge of good and of evil was good for food, but it was surely not good for her. Daniel and his friends tested everything by the Word and the Spirit. The Word without the Spirit leads to legalism or religion, and the Spirit without the Word leads to lawlessness. 1 John chapter 4 verse 1 tells us, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. These were men of strong conviction and stood on God's word. They could have compromised their position and their conviction. They could have rationalized and said, when in Babylon, do what Babylon does. But they were not going to let the world of Babylon squeeze them into its mold. 
We live in a place and time where the world wants to dictate what a Christian should say, believe or how they should behave. So like Daniel, we are called to be people of the Word and of the Spirit and to purpose in our hearts to walk with God. So now Daniel requested to be tested for 10 days with water and vegetables. The natural mind would say, that will not work, they will just be skin and bones. Yet Daniel and his friends did not use their natural minds but their spirits and they in fact turned out better in appearance and flesh than the man who ate of the king's delicacies. Verse 17 tells us that as for these four young men, God gave them knowledge, skill in all literature and wisdom and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Without faith it is impossible to please him for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. We are also told that the king interviewed them in all matters of wisdom and understanding and were found ten times better than all the magicians and the astrologers who were in the realm of Babylon. So God prospered and blessed them both physically and spiritually. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. It all begins with a decision of faith in our hearts unto God. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God.